Okay. Hey, pups. Uh, you're live. You're live on camera right now. Uh, it's me and Bree, and we have. Hey, uh, Mickey. Anyways, we have news. We have news. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut, brought to you by Pirate Water p -dubs. We got four delicious flavors. We got Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, Miami Vice, and Margarita. It's a 10% ABV malt beverage. It is a tall boy can, and it's under two bucks. So it's the life of the party, the drink of the party, if you haven't tried it yet. You can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near you, or you can order it now on GoPuff. Follow and tag Pirate Water at Pirate Water for a post to, uh, for a chance to be reposted by us like we always do. I keep seeing you guys post, so keep on doing it. Let's get into the episode. What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back Ooh, to another episode squeaky. of Play on Three Uncut. You don't like squeaky? Mm -mm, too squeaky. Oh my god, it was bad. I didn't like it. Oh my god, my shoe got a little squeaked out. How we doing? How we feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling tired. Me too. At best, mm -hmm. it's like a reoccurring re reinventing myself of tired lady. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to reinvent yourself when you're tired. Yeah, I, I can't. mean. I'm trying to hit the ground running. We both went to bed so early last night. Tried to, you know, we had intentions to. Mm -hmm. I saw a bug. I was up for it ever. I just laid there in bed like, wow, everybody's asleep around me. Yeah. All, everyone's snoring. All of Manhattan. All of Manhattan. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so tired. Why can't I sleep? Insomniac. I don't want this life anymore. I want to be asleep. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you had a comedy show last night. That's where we went. Comedy show last night went great. It went mm -hmm. phenomenal. It was epic. Epic. At Gotham Ec Comedy Club. Gotham Comedy Club. And I just got an email from the owner of the club right before we started. Owner and alert, Big Boss. Yes, Big Boss. And uh, he offered me a, uh, a a show at the club. A gig. A gig. A full-time gig. Just And like I, that was my first time like stepping back into comedy and like... Hey, a really long time. You hit the ground with your feet running. God damn straight I did. Through a brick wall. I, I mean, I Explosion just can't. Explosion fireworks. I just can't even believe it. It's insane. Are you super pumped? I am. I am super pumped. Yeah, it was epic. Um, It was an epic show too. Yeah, no, and everyone was hilarious. Everyone was hilarious. It was, it was great. so fun. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Do it always. It was, uh, Zach came. Zach saw you for the first time. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, um, it was, uh, it, you know, it was, a. Uh, it was, it was a good one. It was a good one. It was a good one. <laughs> yeah. It was just crazy because I actually generally, not even kidding, forgot that I was I had the show and I woke up in the morning, checked a DM and um, someone was like, can't wait for your show tonight. I was like, ah, fuck. That's crazy. I totally forgot. So then- um, When did you know, when did you get the show? I, got I didn't know about it either until you posted about it that day. Yeah, no, I, um, I booked two shows when we were in- uh, LA oh and those were the shows that I was like coming back to do but I just forgot when they were fair and um, you had a crazy weekend it was you know yeah <sighs> not usually like that I'm not usually like that but um I woke up in the morning the girl uh, and a girl was like really excited for your show tonight and I was like holy shit fuck I totally forgot about that and I also forgot to post the link to the tickets because like you have to like promote your own tickets show, for yeah. the show and I forgot to post the link and so I posted it as soon as I saw her message and uh, from 11 o'clock to when the show started that night, sold a real decent amount of tickets. I know. Y'all y'all really showed out for that one. So um, It was epic. Thanks to you guys. I got a, I got a good things coming at the Gotham Comedy Club. <laughs> so stay tuned. There's going to be many stay more tuned. shows. Yeah. Many more Many shows. more jokes. Many more laughs. I'm conf I'm not confused. I have questions. Can yeah. I ask them? Yeah, please do. do you know, I don't know if you'll know the answers, but when you get offered a show, is it like you're going to be hosting it or do you just have a set like that's what i'm wondering okay that's right. that's uh that's the follow-up question i need to have <laughs> good, yeah. listen i don't i can't even figure like you i just literally got the email. am i just got the email and i just got back into stand-up yeah so i'm like still trying to figure out the ropes i don't like there's so many like little things that you don't <laughs> like know about until you know about yeah like they give you the light you have two minutes i'm like how do you that's crazy. How do you track two minutes after a light turns on? How do you tell like, jokes and also tell time? I can't do that. With no clock. I can't do that. That's like, you need, even basketball, have to learn. you have a shot clock. I know. You need a shot clock. Like, I, like when I was balling up, I yeah. still had to look real quick, yeah. you know? Crazy. And then another thing is like, when you go and do a stand-up show, the, the host will be like, yeah, so how do you want to be uh, presented? And I was like, no, nah, just... Just the name, please. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, usually people are like, oh, you probably know him from Comedy Central. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. And then they ask you what you want to say. And I'm like, no, nah, you can just use my name. Grace O'Malley. <laughs> like, you don't have to know me from anywhere because you never know if people are going to like the Boston thing. I know. But they were all here. They were all there because they're fans of you. So they wouldn't have cared. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Yeah. 
It was epic. It was so, epic. Then we went to the Trailer Park Bar. Trailer Park Bar, yeah. We went that to was, Trailer Park Bar. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. It was uh, it, we've we've driven by the Trailer Park Bar a thousand uh, <laughs> a thousand times, yeah. saying we should go there one day. <laughs> and, and then we it did. was right across the street. It was perfect. It just worked out. It was a nice little lovely time. But then we were like, we're gonna go to bed, and we didn't. You Mm-mm. saw a bug. What kind of bug did you see? I couldn't. I could. I saw it so quick that I was like, mm, yeah. Uh, so since I can't identify that, I can't go to sleep. Mm. It's a no sleep at night. I would get a, um, you know, those things that they use when you stay on the safari, the ro- the nets that hang around your bed. Oh, the canterpies? Yes, <laughs> you should get one of those. <laughs> I would get a canterpie. That's the only way I could sleep. I'm going to be sleeping in a canterpie tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm yeah. I'm going to Bora Bora. That's tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Mm, obviously didn't pack. I don't even have any. Do you know how many outfits you need for a tart bora trip and with tart bora yeah, bora? I think that's half the reason I said no when I got the itinerary. I was like, I don't have these outfits. It's so many outfits. It's so many outfits, but it's only three days, so it's not too many. Yeah, no, I just have to, you know, go buy everything. I don't have any of what they're looking for, which is crazy. I only have black clothes. Yeah. I really only have black clothes. But you're going to step out. I'm, I'm trying to stunt off. You have to stunt off and shine. But it's, I hate shopping, and I'm look at me. I'm so tired. So oh, tired. complaining, complaining. You're going to Bora Bora, you stupid cunt. <laughs> I'm gonna have a blast. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, but wow. You know what? We got to preface with this. What? We got a big call coming up soon on this show. Oh yes, we do. Oh my God. My father, <laughs> who art in heaven. <laughs> I will know his name. Yes, you, they will. You are about to know the name of Mickey Goddamn O'Malley, And you will right? never forget it. So, my father was, uh, you know, he was uh, shooting the shit with a lot of people in my life. Just my mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, no, I've, uh, you know, I've been writing some uh, songs here and there, some poetry a little bit. Um, and then he turned down the music in the car and he said, you think I'd be a good country music artist? <laughs> And she was like, yeah, yeah, of course, I'm sure, <laughs> of course. And uh, then uh, then what else did he say? Oh, he also said um, that Zach can park his, uh, well, he said, oh, did, will you tell Grace? Well, you know, just tell Brianna. It, well, if you can get in touch with Zach himself, I'd like him to know that I, he can park his uh, tour trailers what are they called rvs buses. tour buses <laughs> his tour buses every word but his tour bus is at the house when he mm-hmm. plays foxborough mm-hmm. which we don't live anywhere near foxborough <laughs> no no no, no, no. <laughs> but he just wanted uh to save zach a buck or two mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because yeah because yeah yeah <laughs> dude it's generous it's beautiful it's generous and it's beautiful and i think zach has taken him up on the offer so we were telling zach that last night at the trailer park bar mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> and um well He's into the idea of featuring my father on a song. <laughs> my father's going to be a super mega star, pop star artist. Yes. Uh, the po- uh, country country star. <laughs> yeah. So last night we're like, oh my God, wait. Because obviously me and Grace want to do this. We want to have Mickey feature on a song. We want him to make music. But we didn't think Zach was actually going to take <laughs> us up on the offer. But they had met before. And everyone, when you meet Mickey, you just love Mickey. He's a <laughs> character. He's like the movie character I was talking about in the last episode. He's a movie character. Yes. He's just someone that you're like, oh my God, that guy is crazily awesome. And uh, Zach was like, oh my God, we've got to put a record out with Mickey O'Malley. <laughs> so we're taking Mickey O'Malley to the studio. And now we're going to call him and fucking tell him about it mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he's gonna have uh he doesn't know yet he doesn't know yet and he's gonna have um till april mm-hmm. to uh write down three songs mm-hmm. so this is uh us asking my father yeah and stay tuned because it's gonna be fucking crazy <laughs> okay. hey pups uh you're live you're live on camera right now uh it's me and brie and we have hey, uh Mickey. anyways we have, news. we have news you want to break it yes. well you is know it? I told I told a few people that you know you've been you've been uh you know writing doing some poetry and uh maybe writing some some songs or something and, and here you go. Uh so I I talked it's it's B. I talked to uh I talked to Zach. I told him you know you've been writing you think maybe you could be a country star and he uh he wants to take he wants to take you to the studio for three days if you want to prepare three songs and he wants to feature on a song with you and release them. Holy shit! Really? Really? That that would be amazing, but I don't really have. I could, you know, get on it, but I don't have anything pieced together. Yeah, you don't have. You have time. You have time. So it's going to be in April. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be in April. You have homework. You have to write three songs. 
Or uh, three ideas. Three, three ideas, ideas, concepts. I, I feel like you got at least one under yeah. your belt already. Even if you just have one. We just need three somethings in a month take you into the studio. I got a million somethings. It's, I'm dyslexic. I can't put, can't put them on paper. Yeah, no, that's fair. Maybe work on... Maybe I'll just have to wrap them out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, no, so that's that's the game plan, and, uh, you know, I thought maybe you'd be a little more jazzed about this. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking kidding me? It's unbelievable. And I really think it's an awesome idea. You know what I mean? We, we do, too. too. We do. Where, where do I go? Oh, we'll take care of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you you do the work, you do the paper to pen. Paper to pen, and pen then paper. <laughs> we'll tell you when you're coming, and uh, there's a studio, it's called Sexy Lady, mm-hmm. and we're going to put you in, what's it called? Electric Lady. It's called Electric Lady. Legends have, le- legends Jimmy have Hendrix been there. Jimi Hendrix Studio. Yes. Yeah. So. Wow, really? Really. That's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> it's fucking unbelievable. So you got to wear your cowboy outfit, and uh, you and Z will make some magic. I was just listening to him, like, two minutes, two minutes ago, I was headed off to my... Uh, Therapist. Nice. Yeah. It's like the blue blue helmets. Uh, uh, All right. That's where we have to cut you off. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, get get up. (laughs) Yep. Get your cowboy hat. Tell tell Zach I said I'm looking forward to it. And thank you very much. Oh, and he does does want to take you up on uh, parking the tour buses at the house. Mm -hmm. Does he really? That's a good idea. Perfect. Perfect. He just park him there and he can go wherever he wants. Fucking no one's going to know who he is. So close to Foxborough where we live. What's that? It, we, it's perfect. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the limo driver for the weekend. Hell yes. Well, you might be the yeah. star. Well, yeah, you actually might be the star. So let's uh, let's think with star power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to be a little cash cow. Yeah, you are, buddy. Yeah, right. Uh, All yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have, have a nice day, Dad. Bye, All Mickey. Right, I love you. Thank you, guys. I love you both. Love, love you. you, too, man. <laughs> Bye. Dude, last <laughs> night when we talked about it, you said he's going to be so nonchalant about it. I know. He was so nonchalant. Was. I mean, it's just like, it's so matter of fact to yeah. him. He's like, yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, totally. Uh, me and Zach, there's going to be a mutual thing. Everyone's going to benefit. Yeah. He literally was just like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. I was going to get in the studio anyway. <laughs> Oh, it's incredible. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, so yeah. that's something to look so, forward yeah, to. Yeah, stay tuned to that. Yeah, He's going to be our little cash cow. <laughs> he really is, man. we got to milk him dry for that money. Dude. Oh, and he God. is just, he will say uh, some hilarious things in talk shows. Like when I get my father on Rogan, <laughs> it's going to go crazy. <laughs> it's going to go five hours. It's going to go five it's hours. It's going to be the longest row they've ever go. Oh, my God. He's going to be the biggest thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean. He's going to have us beaten one month. He really is. And he's going to be like the uh, the poster child for you could do whatever, whatever you, you want, want at whatever age. And he's never going to stop saying that. Mm-hmm. He's going to say, I got a second chance at life. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, he, I can see it now. I can see. He's on a poster, too. Like, he has posters <laughs> all over everywhere. <laughs> And he's doing that little smile he does with his little cowboy hat. And he's gluing. He's bringing country back. He's gluing his hat to his head. Oh, my God. It's going to be incredible. It's, oh, I I know the exact picture. This one. Of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, I, I know you exactly it. the picture. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. Yeah, so my father, we're going to make him proud yeah. of himself. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be gonna more than proud, proud of him. Yeah, it's going to be fucking incredible. Oh, oh my gosh. Speaking of... You ever pimp your father out? <laughs> oh, dude, I wish I wish I could too. Well, maybe my dad could rap on the song. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, well, my dad was like, I could rap. I'm like, no, no, no. You're a country music You, you want to be a country star. star. He's like, I just can't get the words out. <laughs> All right, so we'll wrap. That doesn't make sense, Mick. Uh, but speaking of people super famous, yeah, dude, we've been obsessed with the Wendy Williams documentary. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's two documentaries that had come out about mm-hmm. Wendy Williams. One is called Wendy Williams, What a Mess. And it, this is the first one we watched mm-hmm. where she is... She's kind of there, though, but she's not. Yes. Um, this one was like uh, still like a little bit 
lighthearted, you know. It was before she kind of fully lost it, I feel. Yeah. Like she was, it was more so like about her ex-husband Kevin mm-hmm. and how he just like came in and destroyed everything and how like she doesn't have anyone to lean on, but she's still getting interviewed and she's still like witty. Mm-hmm. She's not rude. She's like still lovable. Yeah. In this one. And that's mm-hmm. the first one we watched and we were like, oh my God, she's so funny and it's just sad. And then I remember, he- like we remember hearing about that there, like there was a documentary coming out. So we just thought it was that one. Yeah. But there's another one that just dropped, and it's so fucked. Yeah, it's called Where is Wendy Williams? Yes. This is the Lifetime one. There's four episodes, and it is... So in the Wendy Williams What a Mess one, she blurred out her, her son. Like, she didn't mm-hmm. want an, him to have anything to do with it. Like, she didn't really talk... She didn't show behind the scenes of, like, her, like, l- being taken advantage of almost. Yeah. And then in the one Where is Wendy Williams is just, like... It feels like it's footage that should never be seen. Like you're hearing stuff and seeing stuff that most people would be like, turn the cameras off. This is like yeah, not like, right. It, it's so, expo- I almost said explosive. It is. Exploitive. It's exploitive. Is that a word? It's They're exploiting her. Yes. In an explosive <laughs> way. Yeah. It it's- is. It's like she has clearly an alcoholism. She talks about it throughout the show. Everyone does. And then she's like got dementia from it Mm -hmm. they're like she's losing her memory she's also super sick yeah and she's just like it almost feels like her manager her manager is in this one and bad guy he's a bad guy you could see right through those smiles and like the way that he's like all dripped out and talking about like money this money that yeah when she like has no one in her life the bank froze all of her money she has no money left like nothing she keeps saying how broke she is she couldn't even buy vapes yeah her poor publicist dude but did you watch episode two yes it is it's, it's a tough watch how mean she is to these people around her it really uh, and it's like you have to remember that like she's not all there well that's the thing the people just take it because they feel bad for her and yeah. they're like this isn't but then it's like her publicist gives such First of all, the lady that she's bossing around and calling fat and ugly and gross and stuff is her publicist, not her assistant. I know, making everyone her keeps do saying everything. assistant. I'm like, and her publicist gives such publicist answers where mm-hmm. they're like asking her after Wendy just ridicules her. They're like, do you think she has a problem? She's like, no, this is just Wendy being Wendy. Yeah, she's so I'm PR I'm like, fuck, you're a publicist. But she's like, you can see the tears in her eyes. I know. It is just such a fascinating watch. I can't believe anyone, especially her manager, greenlit it and let it be out. Death to all of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she keeps saying she wants to be on TV after this. I'm like, in what? Her, this is where I'm like, your manager is fucking stupid. He's like, she's going to get back on TV. She's going to do this. This is a abs- absolute, she'll never get back on TV again by putting this out. Yeah. Like, it's an absolute, okay, she is unwell. Yeah. She is not fun to work with. She will never have a television show after this again. It's crazy. Well, and they're just, it just seems like they're working her dry. She, like, she clearly needs to, like, like, get help. Go to Miami with her family. Like, yeah. And she needs to, like, get the help that she needs. And they, they just keep saying, like, at the beginning, they're like, oh, yeah, she, she uh, why did Wendy go away? <laughs> I don't know, Wendy, why don't you tell them? It's like, what's the hell? And then they ask the manager, like, are you concerned about her mental health? And he's like, well, I can't evaluate her mental health. It's like, yes, you can. If you're her manager and you work with her closely and you see she's deteriorating while she's laying in bed drinking a bottle of vodka a day. And they're just and then her family comes in and talks about how they're like enabling her. And she just has people around her that she doesn't even know. And Wendy's so sad. She's so lonely. She keeps talking about how lonely she is. I know. How she has no friends. How her family doesn't care about her. And her manager's just like, yes, you do have friends. She's like, where? Yeah. It's really tough watch. And then the outburst is just, it's a, its tough to watch, but at the same time, it's just so outrageous that you're like, she really just say that? Dude, I know. And then it's like, she still has the Wendy wit. Yeah. Where she's like being funny, but like, it's 10,000 times worse because she's, like, meaning it. It's absolutely unfiltered. You don't know whether to laugh or cry or, like, turn it off. It's, it's... it's I don't even want to say it's good TV. It's filthy TV. It's filthy TV, yeah. And I have to finish it. It's a really filthy watch. It's a filthy watch. And... I dream about her, Grace. I know. I've been watching it every night head. before bed. It's all... 
It's all that's on my mind is Wendy Williams. And it's so weird that we went on this whole Wendy Williams campaign. I know. And then all of that came out. It's just so crazy. I just wondered on the fact that we did that before. Before. And we weren't making fun of her. Ever. And also on top of that, um, we, we retract having her on as a guest because we wouldn't want to get screamed at. (laughs) <laughs> well i just she needs to rest like she's exhausted she's really tired. she has made me tired <laughs> but i'm she's like exhausted. but she's just laying down in every shot it is you need to go see it with your own eyes and it is, yeah, it's filthy watch. It's a filthy watch. It's a filthy, rotten you watch. Feel... And those people are crazy for putting that on television. You know what I felt like when I was watching it? What? Like I was looking through someone's window. Yes. I felt like we finally got our, sp- we went to the spy store. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. That's what it is. It's, it's the... a spy show. Yeah. It's, it, I feel it, like a PI. If, if you want to feel like a PI. Or a yeah or a bad guy <laughs> yeah just watch this watch show, that show. It's, it's crazy well, i cannot may- even believe it maybe it will be honestly a good thing for her in the sense that people will rally together kind of like the free britney thing yeah. where people are like she's clearly being taken advantage of it just doesn't seem like enough people are talking about it right that's why i want to talk about it yeah like i feel like everyone needs to watch it and see how fucking it's the easy easily the craziest thing i've watched on television in years i don't, I don't think i've ever seen anything worse except for maybe the osborne's when was he was having a hard that. time yeah yeah but like at least he had family that loved him around him yeah wendy this just has so isolating people sucking her dry for money and she has to like sell her nice clothes because she has no money left because they froze it it's just she's has a legal guardian it's it's fucking crazy and it's also so fucking scary that they can just freeze your money because they, the bank because it's can, suspicious the bank can just take your money and like she can't get it back and then they gave her a guardian yeah it's appointed s- one by like, a court like the bank has the power to do that when it's your money it's that's that is wild that was like shocking to me and then even wendy and the thing is like well if it can happen to me it can happen to you like this is fucking crazy yeah no that's true i'm like holy shit it's so scary that that thing that things like that can happen i mean all of it it's just it's it's uh, I, f- I feel really bad for her but she's also says so much mean stuff too like she's Dude, a I bad know. guy in it too she's a but bad like guy but she's but also she's like getting taken advantage of she's sick needs. she does have special needs now so. like she does need to be taken care of mm-hmm. she's um wendy so you guys gotta go check that out i don't know if we really sold you but i think everyone should watch it just so that more people can talk about it i mean there's nothing better than when you feel like you shouldn't be watching something great reality tv and hey it's wendy signed up to do these yeah or someone made her do it i just no wendy didn't sign up to do this first one she did oh yeah first one she did for sure first one's actually great i love that one the second one is a dirty watch it's a dirty watch and i mean there's no way she can consent to just about anything and she wants to do a podcast so bad Mm -hmm. that's her big thing is a podcast and they sit down and they have like a meeting about the podcast and Mm -hmm. they're just like yeah we're we're thinking about guests and she just goes p diddy fat (laughs) joe like like some of it's so mean but but it's just so quick like she's like there is absolutely no filter she already knows what she wants to say before anyone even talks to her she's actually acting like a mind reader i know and she's reading she's reading one of my favorite parts was she's reading a tabloid and she just points to j-lo but she can't remember her name she goes i remember huge star i love this star <laughs> and the producer's like who who is it she goes oh reads the name jennifer jennifer lopez she's gotta know she can dump ben whenever she wants <laughs> he better stop no, fucking that around that she, guy that guy she could dump that guy he could better stop fucking around <laughs> i'm like honestly yeah <laughs> She was like, she can have it all. <laughs> and she At any point. She just throws the tabloids. Like, I <laughs> just throws days. it on the floor. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Definitely, um, second episode's a top watch. I've only seen two, so uh, yeah, I'm well, curious to now see. Now I'm going to... Lifetime got me. Yeah. No, I'm going to have to buy Lifetime. No, you can buy it all on Amazon. Oh. Buy the season on Prime. Wow. It's 10 bucks. Oh. Yeah. Gonna, I'm going to yeah, have so to. Go check that out on Prime. I, I mean, yeah, it's out there. Everyone should watch it and someone should fucking call the police. Yeah, I mean, there's I mean, oh, there's just a really bad imbalance going on over there. And I feel so bad for her son. Yeah, me too. I feel so bad for her son. He seems the only one to w- want her to stop drinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that was crazy. That's the, the only thing that's been on my mind, the only thing that I've been watching. That's all I've uh, got. <laughs> that's literally all I've got. <laughs> it's Wendy Williams. 
quick commercial break for game time. You shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Listen, one day, one day, you're going to be able to buy tickets to my show on game time but not just yet so there's plenty of concerts coming up in a town near you the town near you is the town you actually live and that's where they will have the concerts where you can find the tickets on game time and you'll get the best price lowest price best bet guaranteed all right so take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code plan brave for twenty dollars off your first purchase Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code Plan Brave for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. On the um, on the topic of topics, want to talk topics. topics? Let's do to- hot, hot topics. topics. Oh God, what do you think about this? Machine Gun Kelly debuts upper torso blackout tattoo. Looks like it hurts. Have you seen? Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> but I don't understand why he did this. He said it was for spiritual purposes only. And uh, Josh on BFFs thinks that he had uh, like satanic shit tattooed on him. So he wanted to get it covered up. Oh. I said, why don't we just remove him? Yeah. I don't know. We'll cover it up. Seems like a permanent decision. <laughs> yes. Um. Here's another thought. What? If he keeps going up, that's bad. That's my only thought. <laughs> like, you can't. Re- can you do it? My only thought is this shouldn't be allowed, but it's for spiritual purposes only. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Picture we did this. Well, what when they ah? <laughs> uh, what? I kind of like the accents on the arms. Though he looks like a transformer. You see that? How is he's that left the- out. And then is that a cross on his chest? Well, it's spiritual purposes only, so I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, no, he does. He looks like a um, a bionic man. Yeah, he looks unreal. And then Megan Fox is kind of on the same path. What's going on with her? Have you seen her lately? No. She's just turning into like that, pretty oh. much. Dude, when she when we saw her at the PCAs, I I, I couldn't see her. We were we were um. That's when we took a bathroom break and we were trying to see what she looked like, but yeah. I couldn't see her. She's just um, she's she's just like, getting the same emo look. Like she has the same, she has the pink hair. She's doing all the big lips and stuff. She keeps saying she looks like a sex doll. Mm. She's saying that, not me. Mm, but yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> or a blow up doll, blow up doll. But uh, yeah, they're just kind of doing their own thing. Yeah, walking. I mean that's just them. They Some seem people pretty are a little about different. It. Um, you know, to each their own. Tito. Yeah, Tito. Oh, uh, the next headline reminds me uh something that happened to you last night. Uh, you want to read it? Do we have to? <laughs> Creepy crawlers discovered at Vegas hotels. No Don't shit. let the bed bugs bite. Yeah, no shit. Like, before I even read this, my parents went to the nicest friggin' well, the Bellagio. I've heard it's nice. I don't know. They they said it's the nicest one. They've Every ever time been I go to Vegas, to. I ask people, "What's the nice ones?" <laughs> like, what are the nice Everyone ones? Says, the Bellagio. The win, I guess. Is the win, what people yeah. are saying. But um, my mom and dad, they were having a nice nice little dinner at the Bellagio. And all of a sudden, cockroach on their table. On the table? They didn't even want to give them a like refund or anything. They were just like, nah, well, it's Vegas. It's Vegas. So, yeah, what's this? Las Vegas' most popular tourist resort needs to strip those streets stat because a massive outbreak of bed bugs has been discovered. Bed bugs. Oh, oh, itchy, creepy crawlers. Creepy crawler pests have been found in Encore, the Venetian, the Mirage, and the, oh, well, of course, the Eggs Gobbler. Yeah. That's a scary, um, that's a scary castle one. Is it? Yeah, the Eggs Gobbler. Well, they also have children in the basement. Yeah. Allegedly. My alleged thoughts. <laughs> well, when I posted that, I was like, we have a theory that uh, that is the scariest hotel, like, and there's bad things that happen there. For people that haven't been to Vegas, there's this. Uh, we'll put a picture in. Yes. Uh, there's a pic. There's this hotel that is looks like a castle, but it also just looks like worn down and scary and creepy. And every time we pa- pass it when we go to Vegas, we're like, something terrible is happening in there. And you posted it, and people were like, "Yeah, it's haunted." They said it's haunted. They said. Um uh lots of lots of bad things have gone on there just from people's own a- accounts yeah so checks out uh, but uh, uh this isn't the first time that vegas has had uh bed bug siege uh yeah that's well, gross no shit <laughs> uh, 
But no. I mean, what do you do if they if they're everywhere? We were just there. Burn it down. We were just there. Oh, Mm-mm. I'm itchy about it. No, Brianna. I've been... We were there for a week. We must have have carrying crawlers in our pockets. I can't deal with that. Okay. Oh, I really they're... can't. Oh, my. But no, we would be itchy in bites, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're probably immune. You know. You know when it's bed bugs. We're immune to bed bugs. We've... We spent so much time in shitty hotels that we're immune to bed bugs. Yeah, you should see the places we've scoundered around. When we did the college tours, we would stay in the shittiest of the shit fuck hotels. Mm-hmm. They were just urbing they were in the middle of nowhere and there was only there was only people driving trucks stopping at this hotel but they weren't driving trucks in work they were driving trucks to transport little children that they're stealing across the country those are the hotels we were staying those in. are the guys that's who we were sitting at the and bar those with. guys wouldn't even stay there they were just they were just getting the room to take a shit yeah exactly and that's it we were sleeping in those beds we were fucking comfy cozy happy go lucky clam fox yeah so we're immune yeah we're immune. we don't have anything Dude. to worry about Oh, oh Duda, our guy Grace, Flavor Flav, Miley oh, slapped speaking of me. Vegas. Yeah, speaking of Vegas, <laughs> Miley slapped me for calling her Gwen. All in good fun. Flavor Flav got corrected quickly by Miley Cyrus when he accidentally called her Gwen Stefani, getting a swift slap to the face. But one in all good fun, he says. The public enemy rapper talked about the incident on a recent episode of a Just Be with Bethany Frankel. Dude, he's doing a press tour where he revealed he ran into her several years ago when she and Gwen apparently had similar haircuts. Flav said he got super excited to meet Gwen and ran up to her, only to find himself accidentally speaking to Miley. He says MC played it super cool. I love how he says MC. She just uh, she's along with she went along with it during com- combo and laughed out loud. But uh, yeah, I slapped her. Yeah, no shit. That was like three no, weeks she slapped ago. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Was that, three weeks ago? That happened three weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was something I wanted to ask him about when he was on. We forgot. I had a whole game set up. It was uh, that's it. It was just a picture of Gwen Stefani, and I was gonna say. Who's this? <laughs> and then a picture of my eyes. Who's this? But it seemed like, uh, you know, he's a busy man. He's on a press tour. It seemed like he had to get out of there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so body armor flashback moment. Mm-hmm. South Carolina, when after we went to the gun range all day. Oh, yeah. We stopped at Waffle House first. Mm-hmm. Then we went to the gun range all day. I posted on my story, going to get tattoos. <laughs> Meet us here. And it was packed when we got there packed to the brim everyone got tattoos and then the tattoo artist the artiste himself let me tattoo him that was wild i didn't even practice that was crazy he just gave me a tattoo gun and you got you got he got the smiley right yeah on his yeah. on his ankle i uh, you say on his bad body parts <laughs> oh not on his bad body parts but then they tattooed everyone that was crazy that was crazy then we just went home and went to bed because we were exhausted <laughs> it was all those it was like um like they said the tattoo parlor has never been so packed. Yeah, it was the most packed a it's ever been. A bunch of walk-ins with a line down the street. Yeah, I had to practice though so that it wasn't illegal. Like I had to be an apprentice. Yeah, so He's I had like, to like. You're an apprentice now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but uh, Flash IV provides the rehydration your body needs, whether you're feeling under the weather, had an intense workout, or just had a long weekend. In a case of Sunday scaries, or if you just tattoo a tattoo artist after the gun range. So yeah, no. whatever you need it for, it's there for you. G, make sure to check it out. Body Armor's uh, new Flash IV you can get it on Amazon or go to the Body Armor store. You know who I want to shout out real quick? <laughs> who do you want to shout out real quick? Miss Peaches. Ah, uh, yeah. She's cute. She's the number fucking number eight most followed Barstool employee on Instagram. That's crazy. She's about to pass me. We did it on BFFs today. <laughs> she's literally climbing, climbing, climbing. That's wild. How crazy is that? That's really crazy. She is the most successful Barstool quickest employee ever. Good for her. Dude, she... And From she rags even, to riches. She doesn't even care about the fame. No, she doesn't. She got invited to PetCon. What? But Dave doesn't want her to fly across country because it's just like, it's too much for her because she doesn't like that. She also has to get her a stroller. Oh. Because she doesn't like to walk. She just taps out and he's too, she's too heavy <laughs> and his shoulder hurts. <laughs> I know. Wow. Well, but shout out Miss Peaches. Shout I love out her. Miss Peaches. And it's letting a lot of people see Dave in a different light. Uh, yeah, no, it's a beautiful thing, it's really. Great for the company. I, I'm really <laughs> happy for him, too. <laughs> Me, too. You know? Yeah. It's a good, it's a good thing to have a nice uh, Miss Peaches companion. I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had to Should do this shoot. We had to do this shoot today. Oh, Your yes. earrings just reminded me. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we had to do the shoot this morning where we we were told both to dress like Blake Lively from the town. Or mm. were you not told Blake Lively? No, I, do. I was. Okay, so <laughs> I was told dress like a prostitute. Yes. You weren't told to, told to be dressed like a prostitute? Um, No. I was told prostitute vibes. No. I, I, I just vibes. got like, um, I, I thought it was like sh- suggestive, like, like... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Boston, Blake Lively. I thought it was like listed like that, but it was more oh. Boston, Blake Lively, prostitute. Yeah. I, I thought they were saying Boston. Like pick a choose. The town. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was pick out of a hat day. So I picked my hat up and it was Blake Lively hooker. <laughs> and I show up in the, I've never had this much skin showing at work. I had jeans and a little crop top on my boobies out because I was supposed to be a Boston broad hooker, I thought. And Grace has a, fl- a fucking flat hat on and a big, huge sweatshirt. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dude, I picked junkie. I was like, dude, I was told we were prostitutes. And I felt so weird with that much skin showing. At the ki- we had to film a video in the kitchen, leaned up against the fucking fridge, the drinking fridge. a new flavor of pirate water. <laughs> God bless you. Do you, you just dab your sneeze away? <laughs> uh, yeah. D- oh, surprise. New flavor of pirate water is dropping soon. <laughs> yeah. Get fucking amped, bitch. <laughs> it's actually pretty dope. It's wicked good. Listen, um, Grace has got to go to Bora Bora. I like, I got like, I got to, I got to go. <laughs> you got to go. You got to go to Bora Bora. Um, um. I'm trying to think of like uh, what the heck like, um, it's gonna be like, and I just keep I keep thinking to myself, wow, I can't believe this is my life. <laughs> go to Barbara. You gotta go and back, I, <laughs> and I gotta totally go back. And when I come back, stories to don't tell. Don't you worry, I got stories to tell. I promise you that. Okay. Yes, uh, <laughs> oh, that's where it went. I thought I lost my vape. This is mine. Oh no, it's you got s- caca on it. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. I know exactly how. I don't need to have one of the fans come give me a, a pap smear. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, because I'm going to use ZocDoc, okay? <laughs> so I'm the one friend that's like, I don't know how to go to the doctor. I need help. It's just super hard. Like, you idiot. Just use ZocDoc. It's a place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top-tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. It's a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and co- and instantly book appointments with them online. I've actually used ZocDoc a bunch. I don't yeah. know why I haven't thought about it before, but it's super easy. You literally can get an appointment the same day, the next day, uh, with like verified real doctors, and they have reviews from actual patients. So booking appointments with tens of thousands, top rated patient reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you and treat basically any condition you're searching for. It's actually heaven sent. So you can go to ZocDoc.com slash Brie and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Brie. ZocDoc.com slash Brie. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Brew Uncut. We have a very special guest. We have Emmy hey. Hartman in the building. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. 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 Excited good. to have you here. I'm nervous. You thought we you had nervous? the wrong Emmy. I did. It's happened. Really? Yes. Terrifying, my fears are right? valid. There's another Emmy signed to the people I'm signed to, and they emailed the wrong Emmy. And then they're like, like, we went through a bunch of emails, too. And then they're like, oh, wait, no, we meant no, the other girl. And I was oh, like, for oh. Christ's sakes, no. This, I, I mean, if the other Emmy walked in, I don't know her very well, but I would be bummed out. We both were bald. <laughs> So I guess it's kind of hard to... Oh, okay. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. I guess. I'm not bald anymore. But no, you're not bald. <laughs> At the time, we were both I love bald. your hair. I've seen Thank so many you. controversies about your hair. And Thank I'm like, you. And i the coolest thing ever. Thank you. People, yeah. yeah. I don't know. People will get it. If they don't get it, they will get yeah. it eventually. Yeah, they don't get it. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, you've been, I mean, you've been through hair. Oh my God, yeah. I've had like Colors. color. People say the meanest things. I'm like, I like it. <laughs> right? It's not that's fair. all that matters. I think it's fun. Do you look back on times and, and think like, oh, that was then because I had that certain color hair? Oh yeah. I have like a lot of eras. I had a tennis ball era because I was bald and it was like neon green and like, That I was sick. I remember that. <sighs> that was fun. Yeah. I liked being bald, but I don't know if I'll do that again for a while. Yeah. That's how I like <laughs> measure my time period yeah like okay it was this time because i had this color hair and now i'm just like one color so yeah i don't know i get lost (laughs) yeah Yeah. i do that dude i've been a fan of you forever so this is awesome (gasps) you've been on social media for ever it feels like i know it was it's been a long time when the well so this is what i was just talking about before we came here i for i totally forgot about this and i don't know what made me think of it but remember when like tiktok first came out and it was like you had the dancey dancers or it was alt tiktok and you were like the face of alt tiktok i i i'm I gonna give a chance say that. That. i'll take yeah. it you were like one of the first people i followed but but you were also around before tiktok yeah everyone thinks i was on vine but it like okay the, the fucking video can i swear guys yeah. oh, oh please, I, okay. god you can say what you can say whatever you want on this podcast mm-hmm. um 
I had a video of me having a breakdown, blah, blah, blah. But it was on Twitter and everyone thinks it was on Vine. I don't know why. Because it was like two It was long, long, yeah. Yeah, everyone's like, I remember you from Vine. I'm like, okay. I just let them say it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be like, no, you don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I had a following on Twitter, which is yeah. pretty random. Yeah. And then it kind of slowed down. That means you're actually funny, though. Because yeah. I feel like the funny people started on, tw- like, actual funny people were on Twitter first. And now, like, Twitter's, well, it's fucking X or weird. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, anymore. it's actual, it was actual comedy on, yeah. on Twitter. And then you transferred to TikTok. I don't know. I've just seen you everywhere. And I feel like you've done a million, you've lived a million different lives. I feel like that sometimes. I'm yeah. Like, I'm kind of feeling like Trisha Paytas. Yeah. <laughs> like, and now, so many. And now you're doing your music. I am. I mean, I'm sure you've done it forever, but now I feel like you're in your music era. Yeah. And it's really cool to watch. I was a huge fan of big teeth or big stupid what? big teeth stupid Close. big teeth i loved that i've song. had someone call it big fucking teeth big fucking teeth, <laughs> big fucking teeth. It's, a te- it's a teeth it was just teeth to me but it was so good i loved Thank it you. and now what's your new song um i have an ep out it's called mouthful yes mouthful. it's only been out for what day is it it's like a, a week think, yeah, maybe a little a more than a week right? a yes. little more than a week I've, yeah. I've listened it's great thank you so thank you. when did you start making music um well like three three and a half years ago it was that one song first which I kind of just went into it and I was like, I want to do pop, Mm -hmm. something along the lines of pop. And like, I had a part in writing that song, but also it was just like kind of presented to me and I was like, oh, that's fun. It feels like me, whatever. Mm -hmm. So then I finished writing it, came out with that and then came out with one more song after that. But I wanted like whatever project I released first to like really sound how I wanted to sound. So Mm -hmm. it did take like three years. So it's been three years of just making like a shitload of songs. And then that's what came out of it, which is like, it's only five songs, but there's a lot more than that but there's a lot more that we have <laughs> we don't got enough songs, songs we want to make a, a diss track yeah we, we don't we know who to attack who. though we don't we need to find some an enemy yeah we need who enemy. would you attack um <sighs> definitely not you so you're off the hook thank you yeah um, lucky you because it's gonna be good yeah it's good. we're coming for blood <laughs> uh, i don't even know do who's doing? someone good to attack well, I don't want to get myself in trouble. Oh, yeah. No, no. We don't want to get Let you in trouble. Well, we'll we, we could attack each other. Mm. It could be a, a, no, that's like a rap battle against each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, yeah. predictable. It would be, uh, yeah, it would be hilarious. It like in a be. hilarious way, like silly stuff. Yeah. Or we could um, attack someone super famous. Mm. Like Untouchable. This, yeah. Let's so, go for Elon. Oh, okay. I like you got to pick yeah. like some random A-list celebrity that did absolutely nothing to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. So we so, could go against like, I don't know. Uh, Chrissy Teigen, I guess. Chrissy Teigen, yeah, Tom Hardy, or something yeah, random. Tom like Hardy. That. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Who's Tom Hardy? <gasps> Dude, Ooh, sexy, sexy boy. Sexy. Is um, he a swimmer? Um, no, that's, that's Tom Phelps. Harlan. Oh, Michael Phelps has the same birthday as me. Wait, really? Yeah, I don't know anything else about him. Okay, that's cute. I just learned yeah, that in elementary birthday. school. June thirtieth. <gasps> June thirty. That's a good birthday. Thank June seventeenth. I never meet June people. Sir? I'm a Gemini. Uh, She's a Gemini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a, um, everyone in my life is a Gemini and it's um, two, two different personalities um, and, and it checks out and it's, it keeps things fun. Yeah. It definitely does. I don't know anything about star signs. Me, okay. I good. like ask people, I'm like, what is it? And then I'm like, oh my God, awesome. Yeah. But I don't know anything I to back it up. I know mine and hers. Ditto. It, that's Actually, I, I don't do. even know anything about you. I just know you're a Scorpio and I know I like you. I'm such a freak in bed, but that hasn't checked out quite yet. <laughs> One day you will get freaky in bed. <laughs> One, I plan, it's on my bucket list. I know it is. On the way <laughs> That's on your bucket list. Road dome at some point yeah. in my life. That's incredible. <laughs> You'll get there. Yeah, no, yeah, I just fine. Uh-huh. Um, have you ever given road dome? <laughs> <laughs> Like you hesitantly let that yeah, come out of your mouth. It was like intrusive. Yeah, it was a nervous <laughs> laugh thing. Oh shoot! You don't have to. Answer I know that, that my posture looks crazy right now. Oh no! I feel, I feel like, like okay, you, dude. I know me too. You can lean back. Just be careful. I, I told her to be careful when she leans because these kind of topple over. Oh yeah, we almost had Whitney go in a cartwheel. Yeah, it was I had insane. one of these, and I don't know how, but I sat like way too aggressively, and the entire base of it snapped. Oh my god! Then I threw it out. It was from Wayfair. Oh yeah. So that, was, that probably explains. Under it. Yeah. Remember that? That, that was, was terrifying. Thing. But do we think that was real? I have no idea. I don't fact check anything. I just hear little whispers. I thought I stopped ordering and yeah. I signed a petition. I thought I it was real. I stopped ordering and I did that too, but I was mm-hmm. like, wait, are there kids like in the furniture? I don't get it. But I, I think know. they were just like, you know how on like Etsy it's like buy this pizza and it's like $20,000, yeah. uh, but it's a I child. Think it, yeah. Pizzagate? Yeah. Let's get political. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know run. anything. I don't know shit about fuck, truly and honestly. <laughs> no, That's me really either. Tough. I just know that Chrissy Teigen was coming for kick when he started and i just learned that so that's yeah that's yeah that was good to learn of everything. that was exciting um <laughs> so basically i really need to ask how did you get victoria paris's couch <laughs> wait you got victoria paris's couch no i got her chair or oh, chair okay. i <laughs> not the iconic victoria orange. paris she is my ariana grande <laughs> and i stand by that 
Well, okay. So I've met her twice. The first time was the scariest thing of my life because I was at a Spotify event and Paris Hilton was there <gasps> and I was literally saying the sentence out loud, something about like Paris Hilton, but she's not Victoria Paris. And then Victoria Paris walked up and tapped me on the shoulder while I was saying it. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? And then it's serendipity. Did she hear you? No. Oh, okay. And cool. then I literally was like, you're so scary. And I told her that. And then the second time I saw her, she literally, I was freaking out. And she's like, I've literally met you already. And I'm like, I know, but I love you. Um, the feeling never died. But she put her chair on the curb in Silver Lake. And I was like, I'm going to drive as fast as I can. Did you got it? I did. And it's oh my, do you still sit in, in it every day? I do. Yeah, <laughs> I do. But I do need to get rid of it. But I just don't know what to do with it. Because I'm not going to like, oh my I'm gosh. not going to sell it. I was going to say you, you could sell it for big bucks. <laughs> no, that feels don't wrong. do that. You could sell it to uh, you could give it to us we'll sell it we'll give you the cash if you want you could trust us not that you need the cash but that just sounds fun that could work um i'm like no i could put it back on the curb that feels wrong so i'm just waiting for one of my friends to maybe want it that's fair but i don't have room because of my fucking couch i when emmy walked in i was like i saw your couch debacle seems like you are having really bad luck with this couch um i but your interior designer huh you're an interior designer you designed it with yard fabric I, you could say that. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. saw that on Facebook Marketplace because okay, no, we ordered a couch mm-hmm. and it was expensive. Yeah, those, and those couches are just we got scammed. Expensive. He never sent us the couch <gasps> after six months. Wait, was it Facebook Marketplace? <gasps> no, we oh. like ordered an actual one and then he never sent it. And we're like, what the fuck? And we called the bank. We're like, we never got the couch, so we got the money back. And then we're like, let's just find one on Facebook Marketplace. Mm-hmm. I thought that I could like eye out some measurements and not mm-hmm. actually measure it. And then I hired a task rabbit to pick it up and the task rabbit is taking so long. I'm like, he fucking stole the couch. But then he calls me, he goes, um, I know couches are big, but like, this is massive. And like, I'm going to be a while. And I'm like, what do you mean? You're like, yeah, sure. Oh my God. He knocked on my door and he looked scared. And he literally was like, I like, don't know if like I can get this inside myself. Like, I'm really it's sorry. A one guy job. Oh, he showed me it was in the back of his truck. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And I literally went, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then I had to like um, have my landlord take my washer and dryer out and hire two people to shove it into my house. But it ripped when it was shoving in. So like the armrests on it are ripped. And then the fucking thing is filled with feathers that poke you and hurt Mm. and they get everywhere. And it's the most uncomfortable thing ever. But it's it's supposed to be the most comfortable thing ever. That's a big bummer. come true. If it didn't have poking feathers, because I put the blanket over it, it doesn't help. Oh, it doesn't? No. Nice. It's awful. My dogs love it, though. Oh, that's, that's all huge. that matters. That's like yeah. a giant bed for the dogs. You can sit yeah. in the Victoria Paris chair. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. And you think like or her. Or just get poked the whole time. But <laughs> it's too much work to get it taken out now, so I'm just stuck oh, with God. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to have to leave it behind when you move again. Yeah. 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 I am. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You do, we're not getting your security deposit back. No. no that's okay. No. Uh, we were just talking before before the camera started rolling. Uh, you had the... Uh, the unspoken creature, uh, the you know the brown one. Then uh, yeah, we kind of all bonded over, over that really before. Yeah, yeah. Um, on this very street that we're yes. on. Yes, Emmy walks in and she's like, "This street is cursed." We're like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry." It <laughs> is. Whenever I drive past it, I plug my nose and hold my breath. So, yeah. are you superstitious? I'm very picky and choosy about it. Okay. Because like, what's the other? Like, if if I break a mirror, I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. I'll open an umbrella inside. But if I pass the street, I'm plugging my nose. Mm. Okay. That's fair, but you went through something dramatic on it with the little brown. It's creatures. on a personal level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe exactly. that's my problem. That mm-hmm. makes sense. When did you move to LA? Mm, right before the pandemic. So December from, 2019. From where? Ohio. Oh my gosh, where in Ohio? Cleveland. <gasps> I went to school in ba- at Baldwin Wallace. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No one ever knows it unless they're like from Cleveland yeah. or around the area. The tiniest, stupidest, smallest school in the world. Yeah. Loved it though. It was a it was blast. Epic. Oh it was my fun. god. But that's where I went to school. That's so random. And Ohio is Ohio. Yeah. And LA is a change. Yeah. yeah. And have you adapted well? Do you love it here? Do you hate it here? Mm. Do you miss Ohio? I don't miss Ohio. I don't have any like feeling towards LA. Like I don't hate it, but I'm not obsessed with it. Mm-hmm. Not for any reason. Like there's just other places I'd rather live. Yeah. But like it kind of just makes the most sense to be doing music and stuff here. Yeah. That's fair. Because like the other place I want to live doesn't really. Where would that have be? Chicago. Chicago. Love Chicago. 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 Chicago's a good spot. Chicago's amazing. Yeah. I also, though, hate the snow, so I'm like, oh, it's that's the only cold. downside, but I'm also from Ohio, yeah, so I'm like, so I can, can do, it. do it. What about New York? You give me a New York five. I have three dogs. And I have two, and I live in New York. They're big. Not a kind of big, too. How big? They're labs. Oh. But they're but it's fun. It like It makes you have to 
go outside and like be in the city and walk all the time. And I feel like before my dogs, I was just in my apartment like a roach and I never left it. And now I'm like, my life revolves around my dog. So I have my to like wake up does, but I'm just and so, walk my like, dogs. I don't know. It is kind of hard. They're rowdy too. Eat yeah. Brooklyn. You think? Oh, you would kill Brooklyn. Yeah, you could have a backyard in Brooklyn. You the queen of Brooklyn. Huh? Yeah, like a little, like small, but you could have your dogs in Brooklyn or like Hoboken or Jersey or something. You okay. should move to New York. Come to hang out with Come us. On. Well, no, I want to have a New York era. Yeah. You know? I've only been there three times, I think. Do you like and it? it was, well, it was very touristy and it was mm. for fashion week twice. Okay. So I'm like, I was just doing that stuff. That's a different vibe. Yeah. So I didn't like do the zhuzh. Mm-hmm. I also was in, wait, what the fuck is it called? What's the park? Uh, Washington, Washington Square or Central? Central Park, the, the big, huge one. Yeah. Central Park. I was in there and I'm like, can we go to that park, guys? And they're like, we're here. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know that was <laughs> what we were doing. But like, I don't know. I would have a New York era, but I kind of just thought all the apartments were giving teeny tiny, no elevator. No, they are. They are. Oh. Yeah, for sure. They are. But I'm sure you'd pay the same price here that you would in New York. You just kind of have to downsize and the couch ain't coming with you. Yeah, the couch is not coming with you. Oh, fuck that we couch. will have to do use Wayfair me. again. <laughs> oh my God, no. I can't downsize. I literally was like, I need a two bedroom apartment next time so I can have a closet room. Yeah, it's hard. Oh yeah, New That's York that. You sound like me. Yeah. <laughs> or a it's, storage unit. It's really hard. But New York is the best. I feel like you would thrive there. But I guess music is here and everything yeah. is well, here. New York maybe too. Yeah. yeah. Have, have, you fe- have you felt like this year is your music year? Like, do you feel like it's like completely what you want to pursue? Oh, I definitely completely want to do that, but I feel like it's just still the very beginning of it. Yeah, Yeah, that's true. Do you find it like the, how everyone always gives social media people shit for like trying to do music? Do you feel like you have to like work harder and it's annoying that you have to get through that? Yeah, eh, I don't know about work harder. I actually think I have a little bit of an advantage. Not even a little bit. I have an advantage because I do have that following and Mm -hmm. already like, oh, we want to see what's up with Emmy. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. oh, she's releasing music. So there's an advantage for sure. Yeah. But just like the weird thing of if you do do social media, you shouldn't have any other aspirations. Like, why do you want to be an actor? Why do you want to be a singer? But like, it's they, so weird. They hate you because you're on social media. It's like, well, don't you want me to do something else? And then when I you want to do the other thing, you're shit on. I That's- know. It's so weird. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just never going to win in that no, you can't win. If Context. you start on social media, there will always be that crowd that hates you for starting on social media. People aren't really too mean about it, though, because, like, it's if I get comments that are like, oh, of course, an influencer wants to sing. I know I'm not bad. I know I'm good at it. It's yeah, like your voice just is incredible. That yeah. people are going to comment. So I'm like, whatever. Yeah. It's Delete. Like, it's just crazy cause, because, of course, if you're online, you already have a creative sense of yourself. And then, of course, like, you had this other creative thing you wanted to do on top of that. It's just one came before the other. Yeah, it's, it's just not all that fair. I can understand though, especially in music, like seeing someone like, especially if you work hard and don't have that following and then seeing someone with a following release something and maybe you've been working on it longer or you're better at it or whatever. And then like, oh, they're getting more streams because yeah. of this. Like I would feel bad. It's but, just like uh, human nature to yeah. be like, well, I wish I could have had that before. But social, I, I, I think social media is just like, it's the nuance it's new age of course we're going to want to do different things and yeah. people are always going to be mad at something yeah yeah, yeah. but Absolutely. i think your music is awesome thank yeah. you and I'm, I'm really exci- i'm excited thank for you. you i think you're going to be huge and thank pop you. is huge and it's back it is i feel I like it, i feel like it kind of went away for a little bit and yeah. now everyone's like who's going to be the next pop star who's going to do love this pop. she's sitting right across from us i know Quick commercial break for rent app. Today we've got something truly special for all the renters and landlords out there. Paying rent is something we all have to do, and let's be honest, it can sometimes be a bit of a hassle. But what if there was a way to make it all easier, more straightforward, and even beneficial for our financial future? Introducing rent app, the ultimate tool for renters everywhere. Rent app takes the hassle out of paying rent by depositing your payments directly into your landlord's bank account. No more trips to the ATM, no more mailing checks, no more managing balances in multiple apps. Just simple direct transactions that make life easier for both you and your landlord so why wait head to the app store and download rent app today follow rent app at rent app on instagram and twitter for our listeners we've got an exclusive deal go to rent.app slash barstool to get 50 dollars cash back on your first rent payment and if you're a landlord go to rent.app slash landlord to get paid on time and without hassle let's get back to the show who, who are your biggest inspirations I know that's like a big question or just people you love. They don't have to be pop stars or just people that inspire well, you. Inspirations versus people I love is definitely different. Yeah. But when I go to make music, it's definitely like, do you know who Haim is? Mm-hmm. Haim, Ash, <laughs> the 1975. <laughs> um, those are usually who I bring up 
when I'm going to make something, but an ave. Yeah. People, <laughs> people have been telling me they're like, oh, this reminds me of Harry's house, and I'm like, <gasps> oh, don't do but also Stop. I'm scared. Like, don't say that because then people are gonna be like, no, it fucking doesn't. Oh my gosh, I but know. I'll take that. People have compared it to Muna, Conan Gray, so that's awesome because I also love those people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's amazing. I think uh, so. Uh, I, just from my personal observation, um, you know, you know when people like are really excited about things because you're 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 a fan of just just about everybody. Like I love to see you like like support everyone and like have like your your fandom. And you know when people go, I think you started it. I think you started. <laughs> you're that. giving like me that. too much credit. You're giving me too <laughs> like much that. credit. Dude, no. I, yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> and all right, so then my follow-up question is, uh, who have you met thus far that uh, made you go, ah? Do you do that in real life? When you Not see them, really. you're like... I feel like that was like... <laughs> teenage me. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Cause That's I, fair. <laughs> I don't know. Not really. I'm trying to think, who have I met? The digital well, footprint. Well, Victoria is. Paris, we know, <laughs> is one. Victoria Paris, yeah. my Ariana Grande. Um, <sighs> you said Ariana Grande? Ari. She's canceled for hating Ariana Grande. I just was playing a game and I couldn't I couldn't believe that she had a Grammy because I was losing the game and it was just a whole thing. And then the Ariana Grande fans. The Arianators are coming for her on Twitter. Oh, Did yes. you see the they wicked trailer? The is it AI and is it gonna happen and what's going on? Is it AI? Okay. The this... wicked trailer that played during the Super Bowl? Yes. Okay, there's a conspiracy <laughs> that it's AI and it's not gonna really happen. Listen, wicked on message yeah no it's anything. gonna happen i hope it happens but it she's been working on it for so that's how she met is that why she her. has the uh, that's why she's blonde oh, with I, the eyebrows I and assume. stuff yeah i actually haven't seen wicked i don't know what it's about Me but i just either. wicked oh uh, i love wicked i want to love wicked but i've never seen is the play it? it's so it's, it's the prequel to how the witches came to be it's them meeting in their 20s <clears throat> and... i haven't seen wizard of oz either wow is that the, like it's classic. just a second movie to you that know, you'll get evicted if you you've never seen you've never seen wizard of oz I have no interest. That's, <sighs> wow, that's a that's a wise tale that they say. If you're living in Hollywood and you have not seen The Wizard of Oz, you're going to get evicted. Hey, listen, I don't make the rules. Damn it. Come <laughs> to New York. <laughs> <laughs> but that, yeah, that's great. You got to see Wizard of Oz, but you have no interest, so it's okay. But you want to see Wicked. Yeah, but only because of Ariana Grande. Okay, yeah. so you're an Arianator. Am I saying that right? Arianator? That's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, I guess I just enjoy her music. Mm. Yeah, of course. You love pop music. Yes. Yeah, so she's like pop queen. Yes. Yeah. So Ariana. Okay. Maybe. Have you met her? No. Oh, no. So who makes you go wow? <laughs> I'm trying to think of who I've like actually. I've had interactions online mm-hmm. with really cool people, but I haven't like. Okay. Like okay, when I was a teenager, like before TikTok stuff, I was obsessed with going to concerts like multiple a month, and I was obsessed with like meeting people. Mm-hmm. So I met a bunch of celebrities when I wasn't on social media. Okay. But now on social media. Oh, you know who I met? Who? Who's the guy from Saltburg? Barry Keoghan. Barry, yeah. My oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I think I saw this video. Oh, I have a horrible thing to say. So yeah. I went to the Saltburn premiere, and then after Jacob Lordy, I have two stories about Jacob. Oh my Lordy. gosh, oh, perfect. Give it to us. I'm okay. listening. Actually, Claim your girl. New York. Let me. I have to <laughs> start party. with the Jacob Lordy thing to get to the Barry Keoghan thing. Okay. Um, We're all yours. So I went to Fashion Week in. 2022 question mark okay and i went to this was the craziest night of my life also james Corden comes into play in this and i've ran into that man too many times um but i went to a mac cosmetics party Mm -hmm. and sweetie was there and then i'm leaving and in the elevator debbie ryan's there and i'm like oh my god and i i don't care i love her i love her she's gorgeous and so nice she's the best and everyone makes fun of her i'm like dude she is just doing the thing and she's good at doing the thing it'll make the 360 everyone makes fun of her and then they're all gonna be like we love her dude i know and she is so gorgeous i'm like you're so gorgeous so pretty but she was in the elevator and i was so drunk and it was me her and my friend and i'm like i have to say something and i literally was like oh my god you're so cool and she was like thank you and I was like (laughs) and then I left and then my friend was like you guys have to come to this club I don't know anything about clubs in New York Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on I guess it was really exclusive Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was called though but she had to come down and get us and she comes down and she's like you can't freak out when you get inside and I'm like you can't say that that." this is tough because like all you want to do is and then you walk in too chill where it's like are she overdosing yeah (laughs) it's just like we couldn't have phones though either like if you took your phone out you're kicked out and I'm like where the fuck are we going how am I supposed to do my job (laughs) 
<laughs> but she's like, you can't freak out. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I thought Jimmy Fallon was going to be in there. Sorry, I love him. I'm obsessed <laughs> with him. It was like James Corden. That's who I was, she thought I was going to freak it? out about. Wait, wasn't your sh- wasn't your freak out video um, shown on a late night show? Was it? Didn't you go on one? I went on Tosh.0. Oh. Tosh.0. Oh. Was that and it? And it was on... I think it was ridiculousness on ridiculousness or something. It could have been. I, I think it know. really I think was. It was on Jimmy Fallon. I think it, it was on Kimmel or Fallon. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. What? Yeah. I mean, come on now. I'm not crazy. Can <laughs> not, we no, Google that is, up? If it's it on one ever, of the Jimmys. If it were ever on Jimmy Fallon and no one has told me, it's on one of the Jimmys. I'll yes. start sobbing my eyes out. On on Jimmy, we'll just do Jimmy and see what comes up. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what color was the dress? <laughs> I swear oh, too, boy. it was on one of the Jimmies. It was one of the Jimmies. This no, is a. Gotta, Ma- I think we gotta go back. This to is a Mandela effect. Oh my God! You know what I did like a month ago? Just Jimmy been, Kimmel was filming outside, um, like those interviews, uh-huh. and I um, drove past and I went and picked up Spencer. I was like, I we're getting on this. Like, I don't know what they're doing, but we're just gonna lie. Yeah. And we start. Late we're just night. like, well, let's go walk back and forth. And we're walking, and he goes, "Are you guys married?" And we just go, "Yeah." <laughs> and, well, we almost got married once in Vegas. I we're remember really drunk, that. But we lied for a whole interview, and they didn't even put it. Oh my. <laughs> God, that would have been so good. I know. I thought we were lying good too. Oh, dude, I think it's a Mandela effect. She was on one of the Jimmy's. I, I mean, I swear, if we both feel the same. Maybe way, you're then. predicting the future for me. Maybe actually, yeah. But okay, so you want you wanted it was James Gordon, but you wanted it to be Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Okay. I've tried to see Jimmy Fallon every time I went to New York, and it's impossible. They're so it hard to really get tickets hard. to. I love Jimmy. Fallon. Freaking lottery. You gotta know a guy. So I know it was, a guy now. Oh, so yeah. next time I go, I'm seeing. Oh him. yeah. Um, who's the guy? Come on, I want. It's my friend's roommate. Oh, but she like works there. Oh, right. that's and she's oh, they a page. Shirt. What? Are they a page? Page? It's like a, um, if you work for NBC, you're like called a page. Oh, I have no idea. They're just like a, a, a not clue. Um, <laughs> a little inside. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to this club and we walk in. James Corden's there, and of course I have to go next to James Corden. And Obviously, dance, dance, dance. Um, but then from across the room, I see Jacob Alardi, and I'm like, "There's no fucking way I have to say something." I was so drunk is already. This, is this? euphoria time this is before salt burn yeah but this was two, two years ago so okay yeah, euphoria was yeah. Out. kissing booth so euphoria. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um he was there though and i was like i have to go say something i'm gonna cry thinking about it i walked up i was so drunk and i was like you're amazing and he grabbed my fucking shoulders and he was like what's your name and i was like <gasps> I didn't do that. I just was like, Emmy. Um, and then I don't remember anything after that. And I was like, okay, I have to go. <laughs> and then I left. And then I just stared at him all night. And then at the salt burn thing, he was there. And I was like, I have to ask for a picture. Because I couldn't Obviously. get one that first time. Um, my mouth would not open. Mm. I could not say a word. He was standing like that far. And he was looking at me for like 20 something seconds at That's least. I could have said something. I could have just been like, hi, can I get a picture? But my mouth went open. No one was bothering him either. We were so just... you were the mysterious one. Ooh, you were yeah. like, oh, you're looking at me. I don't ever, I'm not going to look at you. No, I probably you. looked like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I couldn't get my mouth to open and I couldn't. And then he left right past me and I was like, fuck. But then Barry was there and I didn't really know who he was. Um, That's then, fair. He like, blew, I feel like he blew the fuck up after Saltburn. Yeah. But I was like, oh, he's in the movie. I should just say hi because that's cool. And then I was just like, you freaked me the fuck out. Because <laughs> the movie was so scary. And he <laughs> laughed. Because it was so scary. I didn't it know it was so scary. scary. So scary. Um, but he laughed. And he was like, thank you. And then. <laughs> thank you. We, thank you. Um, we chit-chatted for a second. And then we took a picture. And that is how I met him. And then I met the guy that played Farley. But I didn't get a picture with him. Oh, but okay. They were all really cool. And that was the coolest um, premiere and party I've ever been to. It was yeah, like fun, good sick. vibes. I feel like they all seem so chill. Like they just actually want to hang out. And yeah, they're like pals with each other. So they were there for a fun. while too. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's always like a high and by. So that's yeah. cool that they were like actually excited to be there. Yeah. Yeah, we, I, I don't know. We we went to, okay, we're obsessed with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck because we're from, we're from Boston. We're like deeply. Are they from it's, Boston? It's, it's a background. Too much. Yeah, oh, we're wow. like obsessed. That's what we want to be. Okay, yeah. Wait, so. Why can't I think of who Matt Damon is? We're, you don't know who Matt Damon is? I can't think. I know, Rashin. I know the name. Uh, <sighs> Emmy. Uh, Emmy. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne is Jesus Christ. You've never seen you 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 you've never seen uh, downsized. Nah, fuck it. Doesn't no, matter. no, downsized is bad. We walked out of the film for that, but I'll always that, support him. That was him. the worst he's ever done. That was good. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, dude. Okay, so you don't know who Matt Damon is? That's all right. Can I we'll, see his face? 
Yes, can we pull up Matt Damon? Do you guys have matching right puff bars? Right here. I'll just toss it to you. Oh, oh. caught it. It went on the. Oh. Hold on. Why is it? Okay. Is he the blonde? He's the blonde. Look at these guys. These guys. I know his face. That's fair. Oh. It's Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I know his face. I couldn't name a single thing he's in. But I don't watch movies that That's much. That's okay. That's all right. You're more, you're more into the music. Yeah. So that's our Ariana Grande, okay. both of them, okay? okay? And we went to um, we went to a movie premiere. They were in the movie Air, and they were in it together. We were, obs- were obsessed with them. And we go to the movie premiere, and we have the opportunity to meet them because it was kind of like, it was... It was kind of intimate. Yeah, it was like a special showing. Yeah. And we could not even believe we were there. It was called Air, Air, and it's about Air Jordans and how they came to be. And I literally wore like painted Air Jordans with our show name on them. Yes. I went out and bought Jordans for the show. And we go there and there's 30 people. There's 30 people in the room after. And they're like, yeah, go talk to Matt and Ben. We're sitting in the corner. We're like completely sober. We're like, what do we say? What do we do? How do we do this? What do we do? We couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. We couldn't yeah. fucking do so it. Props to you for even going up. Yeah, because what do you say that they haven't heard? And we're like, we need to make an impression. We should have had a script ready. Yeah. You've never seen Goodwill Hunting? No. Do you know what it is? No. <sighs> Emmy, we're going to send you home with some homework. You can give us homework too. Okay. And we'll listen to all the pop stars and okay. you'll watch Matt and Ben. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. And I think we'll both leave pretty happy. I th- it's, a, it's a good feeling both way. <laughs> yeah, it's a good uh, exchange we'll have. Yeah, but we're bad with celebrity interactions. We can't yeah. do it. I we used to be to. really good at it, but I also think it was like that teenager confidence. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? For sure. But so, did, so did you have different, like, Twitters for different fandoms? <clears throat> hey, listen, no judgment here. I, I had still a, have a Justin Bieber I only Twitter. had one fan account for 21 Pilots. Um, oh, my sister was big on them. I took it to a show. They were actually fun- phenomenal. I was, like, I probably had something wrong with me because, like, when I was obsessed with something, like a musician when I was younger, like, I think I've not think i've been to over like 25 of their shows and i would camp and for one of their like they're from columbus so they had like a week of columbus shows and then they would do their last shows in columbus and one time i camped for nine days to try and be up close but also like that was the best time of my life and i was like 17 and you meet a bunch of people it was so fun yeah i used to carry a, a cutout of Oh, it's so weird. Of Justin Bieber from a magazine in my pocket for like a long time. And I would just look at it and put it back in my pocket. I've just started understanding the Justin Bieber thing. Cause I, I'm over it. I wish I were. Really? Uh, yeah. I was really like, well, okay. So I got tickets to Justin Bieber. I got a job just to afford Justin Bieber meet and greet tickets. And this was the purpose tour. And I, I worked a job. I got you a purpose. Yeah, it did. And it was like, it was $7 an hour. So I worked a lot to get $1,900. I bought my meet and greet and i quit my job because it was it was physical it was child labor it was if, insane where was if, it if you um, gross- had ordered groceries ahead of time she was packing them in the back upstairs and you had to carry two cases of water at a time i was a 14 year old girl and the, no. it, it was bad up there 14 i was 14 um yeah. or maybe 15 so I had Still. braces sophomore year. I, I was 15. So I got enough money to get my tickets, quit my job, said goodbye to Sal, said goodbye to Paul. They were bad guys. And I got my tickets. He canceled the meet and greet. And I, I went to this concert alone. I'm in the pit alone. These two girls from high school, they snuck in. They photoshopped tickets. I was like, you fucking bitches. And they stole my spot. They were in front of me standing. In, and I was. they were older than me. I'm like, I can't do this. And then Justin Bieber comes over to our side. And he looks down and he was like, this side sucks. And he spent the whole rest of the concert at the other pit on the other side. And I, I threw the picture away in my back pocket. Don't meet your heroes. Mm-hmm. And he canceled the meet and greet. That's fucked up. And you just got a you just got a string bag full of purpose merch. Did you and get I was, money back? I was alone, so I was too scared to pick up the string bag. I didn't get I didn't I didn't follow up. So I probably should have got money back, but I didn't know what I was doing and I had to get my I had to pick my job job I used back to up too. Photoshop tickets oh, all the time. Yeah. Oh, Wait, what did you used to do? I used to Photoshop tickets. I wish I knew. Badass. Oh my god. When I found out One I was time like, I snuck smart. into an entire concert with no ticket because i like I don't know how I fucking did it, but I made fake tickets. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I'm just gonna go in the press store and oh act really confident. Gosh. Wow. And I did. Do you know what we used to do? We used to buy tickets. Um we were, were like you, we would go to concerts before like any social media thing, like 
three a month yeah. when we were we were in high school and we would get tickets to things but we'd be in the nosebleeds and then we'd go down to like the floor and we'd just start crying and play little girl victim we just bought these outside we, we spent scared. all of our money and if you go to like an older guy that It was going red, but I was just like looking her in the eyes like this, and she just let me go. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. That's I mean, awesome. I mean, they make so much money anyway. It's not like you're hurting anyone. Yeah. It's just you're taking advantage of the situation. Until people yeah. start doing it to you at your shows. I don't care. But they still bought a ticket. <laughs> they still bought a ticket. Yeah. Buy a ticket. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, buy a ticket if you over capacity on the floor is not your problem. Yeah. Not my problem. Do you no. do shows? Do you perform? Not live? yet. Are you Are you nervous or excited? Are you gonna? Um nervous but like more excited yeah Just, have you performed live no <gasps> nope oh my god the only sort of like live i'm not saying live um but i've used to do like dj sets okay but like i didn't make i don't know how to dj we would I have someone make too. this set and we would sit there and be like yeah but yeah. i was so drunk yeah. like yeah <laughs> like this sounds pretty good and then you yeah. sober, it's like oh fuck <laughs> no i'm definitely nervous because i'm like oh that's scary. Yeah, because you like yeah. actually care about it and you're singing. Now, yeah. So it's different. And then I'm like, if I sound like shit, everyone's going to hate me. But also like, it's just fun. And yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's something you really love to do. So who gives yeah. a fuck? Yeah. yeah. It makes you happy. You were talking about um, a, a Spencewa a little bit before this. <laughs> he was literally, I think, the first guest on this podcast. Like ever. Really? Like when I was, I used to do this podcast from my college dorm and it was just me. And I had like a mic that I bought at um, fucking... I just almost, what is it called? Uh, Best Buy. Best I almost Buy. called it Bluetooth. I bought it at Radio Best Shack. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Radio Shack so much. Bring it back. That kept America alive. But I just had like a little uh, microphone and I would do it in my college dorm. And Spencer was like my first guest ever. For real? On the podcast. And when? we did it over Zoom. It was like 2020. 20 2019 Guys, I have to put chapstick on I feel like I'm gonna oh, die. go for it dude I know we just came from Vegas and we're like we can't even breathe oh did you go to the Super Bowl we, we just went to but. yeah yeah we were mm-hmm. there for six days which is far too long to be there wait what'd you do uh partied our little asses off work <gasps> we were there for work yeah, yeah. Our, our company was there for the week but we didn't go to the big game yeah but did but, you want to no I, had I don't no, I didn't know what uh, plays plays on the field so I did kind of want to see mean, Usher though what did you think of Usher's halftime performance? Oh, I didn't watch it. Oh, okay. I saw Usher at his Vegas residency uh, last year, year before. Did not dance good? It was like hump central. Really? Sexy. Yeah, I tried to I tried to predict three um, three wife beater rips at the Super Bowl, but he only he did one. But when he, he took ripped his, his no, he took his shirt oh. off. Then he had a wife beater on. Then he took his wife beater off, okay. and he was just shirtless. Wasn't like, he like really sweaty? It. So sweaty, and his Everybody microphone was like that? wasn't working. You couldn't hear him. It was, it was kind of a shit show. And then the ultimate hype man of all time, Lil John, just gave the opposite. He was he was exhausted. He was <laughs> really tired. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's tough to watch. Yeah, the fellas are getting old. Yeah, they all go watch it later. Yeah, you should watch it later. (laughs) It's good. It's good TV. Yeah. But yeah, the Super Bowl, I don't know. Are you a Swifty? Yes. 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 So I would assume you would have just watched it for her. I would, I like watched parts of it because I like, I don't really, I like the commercials. Me too. Like that's my judge. And I'm like, There's I could a watch ben it, commercial. but like also I'll see the clips of Taylor Swift later. And I also am like, I love Taylor Swift, but like, I don't really need to watch a whole football game to see her be like, <laughs> yeah, that's like, true. That's true. That yeah. clip, um, I think it was when they won or something of Taylor screaming. Did you guys see that? And Lana Del Rey's in the background. And she gets knocked down. <laughs> no, she got knocked the fuck down. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. She just keeps getting knocked She's down. She's catching yeah. strays, man. She's poor thing. Like, yeah. poor Lana Del Rey. I know. Oh, she Lana deserves to be in a chair, like, above everyone's I head. Know, whoopa. <sighs> what do you think of, um, so you're Big Swifty, what do you yes. think of Taylor and Travis? I don't care. You don't care? Yeah. I don't care. Oh my God. I don't know. This is refreshing I, from a Swifty. Usually they're insane and it makes me scared. So I, I just like really don't like have this. an opinion on him. I like Taylor Swift for Taylor Swift's music. Oh, like, yes, I like that. I don't care who she, I don't know who the fuck Joe Alwyn was. She dated him, but also no, actually though, because I'm like, I don't care, but also this because 
she has a song called Cornelia Street and I saw like a thing and it was like when they broke up she sold the house on Cornelia Street and one of the lyrics is um I hope I never lose you I hope this never ends I'll never walk Cornelia Street again and when they broke up I saw my eyes out of that song like I got broken up with I don't know so maybe I do care I lied <laughs> so when you move to New York no more Cornelia Street is that New York that's New York wow yeah yeah it's the West Village yeah yeah Wow. Uh, no, you're neck of the woods. Yeah, mm. I'll, I'll not walk there Mm-mm. on on your behalf. Thank you. And no problem. We stand strong for our friends. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. We do. <laughs> um, so what was recording like? Your like your EP was it scary? Mm, at first because like I had no experience in studios or anything and I like would post covers and stuff and then I got signed from that. Oh, then, okay. I like told them off the bat. I was like, I've never like written anything. I've never been in a studio. Blah blah. blah. And they're like, No, like we'll teach you everything, which was awesome. Yeah, because like I want to learn. It's nice to have someone take you under their wing. That's basically what it was. But like the first few months of it, I was like, This is I'm bad at this, and I'm scared, and whatever. And it was like I kind of just had to get through that entire half a year of being uncomfortable and like making awful music. Like, oh my god, I never like I don't ever want anyone to hear it. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but getting through that. What was the fucking question? Was it just like explaining the process of like getting oh, yeah. in the studio and stuff? Um, but after getting through that, then I was really comfortable with it. And now it's just like fun, I guess. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. Have you have you met people that you've like wanted to work with yet? And like, has anyone like mentored you where you're like, holy shit? Or are you just like still trying to figure that part out? Um, not anyone that I've like been like, I really want to work with this person than I got to, but more like I've worked with them and now I'm like, holy shit, they're so cool. I want to keep yeah. working with yeah. them. Um, I definitely have a list though of people that I want to work with. I was going to say like, what's dream, what's like your dream collabs? Well, producer wise, John Bellion has always oh, been sick. Sick. someone that I'd love to work with. And then Jack Antonoff, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. And then We're going to give him a noogie when you guys win a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be perfect for Jack Antonoff. I'm just saying. Um, and then, like, singer wise, Troy Savon, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, the 1975. I have to hey, look man, to this. Yeah, because you have No, I will not you say look, that. You with look my chest. back. We'll look back at this podcast and be like, oh, there should be yeah, a No, but, like, I'm not. People don't like 1975. Yeah, I'm not saying oh, that. Oh, well, all the like, rest of them. All the rest of them. Say it with your chest. Like, who they are. Music Not wise, Healy, just let's let's forget what he's he's, he's saying so talented. Stuff, but so what music, am music. I? I didn't know Eddie nothing Healy's about got some crazy shit. He'd be saying. I know uh, he's all fake drunken and making out with people. Yeah, no, he he. Uh, every time he has a concert, he says some some whack shit. Oh. That just like you're truly just standing there going, what the fuck did you just say? Uh, but uh, other than that, he's you know great great tunes. He's so good. Yeah. <laughs> like their music, I don't think is comparable to many people. Like. They have yeah. I've never seen a fandom like them. Yeah. So when I first um, when I first moved to a town over when I was in high school, I pretended to like the 1975 because I wanted to be friends with this one girl who seemed really cool and she had good taste in music, and I just didn't. And I was like, yeah, no, I love that one song, Chocolate. That's so good. She's like, what else do you like? I'm like, shit. Really, (laughs) Chocolate just is like, oh, so good. (laughs) Just that one. Yeah. (laughs) No, they're really good. And then Ash. That's kind of my list right now. I see it That's happening. Good. That's good. We'll put it all out there. It's going to happen. Then we can look back. Fingers it will be crossed. like the Billie Eilish videos where you go back. Oh, yeah. Blamber. Oh, yeah. She has to come back every year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, ex- I'm excited for you. It's, it's, it's like a super, especially going from social media to music. I feel like it's super scary and you know you're going to get shit for it, but you're, you're doing it very well. Thank and you. It's cool. It's Thank cool you. to see. I'm and trying. I feel like you're just like a good person that deserves it. Thank so you. It's nice to see. Thank you. Yeah. It's refreshing. Uh, sometimes when uh, you have like a new like EP and like, especially like when you're just getting started, like sometimes people from your team will have you do like, uh, like marketing things and stuff. Do you have anything planned? Like any, like uh they make you dress up in like a suit and do a man on the street or something. <laughs> Not really. I've been trying to like, because okay. For my first song, I kind of just got lucky because a lot of people hated it. So mm. then everyone wanted to listen. Oh, so yeah. I did good. good and I was like sobbing my eyes out about it. And I'm like, okay, I know it's not for everyone, but damn, y'all are fucking mean. I know. Um, and it wasn't bad. Like it, like it wasn't. It was crazy. I knew it was my first song. And I'm like, okay, it's like, I don't know my sound yet. I don't know all this. Yeah. Like, it's fun. I knew it wasn't fantastic but it was fun but a lot of people didn't like it and i had to get over that because that's just gonna happen um but 
a lot of people not liking it made it do good. And I'm yeah. like, fuck, can people start not liking my shit more? Um, <laughs> then my second song did okay. And like they, like my music people had hired someone to help me make content, but it just mm-hmm. like, I'm, I feel like I'm so specific about what I post and it's not yeah. like, I don't know how to word it. Like, I'm just, I, I'm just speaking. That's all it is. Yeah. And I feel like it's kind of backwards for you because you know how social media works and you've been doing it for so long to like, so to hire someone to tell you what to do on social media was probably hard for you. It to was like really weird. With. And then I was like, guys, can we not do that again? And they're like, okay. But now I'm like sitting here trying to plot. I'm like, maybe I should have fucking done that again. But well, it is different than you just posting and talking to like having to promote your music. So maybe, yeah. maybe I also don't want to like do anything. I don't want to say corny. I just don't want to do anything that's that doesn't feel right to me I yes guess. Yeah. because i don't know it like seems fake if i do something that i don't yeah, want to do for sure yeah, but like a fine line i guess i'm trying to figure out some stunt of some sort yeah i've been trying to brainstorm you'll come brainstorm up something. you'll come up with something um you could go to a 1975 concert and do what they did to the mona lisa and soup them and then get on stage and plug in your amp and then sing on stage there you go. If you Not want too to. Shabby. We know a couple guys that can make that. <laughs> yeah, we know backstage security guys. 30, maybe 40 guys will have you back on that. <laughs> there you go. No, you'll come up with something. I feel like it, it will, when it comes to you, be authentic and it will be easy. But I, I feel like you're doing a good job with promoting your music. Like, I see it all the time on Thank TikTok. You. Oh, my God. I feel so annoying. I'm like, I have to be posting it because it's also something I've worked so long on. I'm like, I'm so proud of it. But I'm also like, fuck, this is fucking Dude, up my social media. Yes. Isn't it so annoying to feel like you have to promote something, but you want to promote it because you work so hard mm-hmm. on it? But then it feels... It always just feels like icky. Like, yeah. like throwing stuff and TikTok in someone's not face. like it either. They're no. like... Mm-hmm. It's, su- it's such a weird whatever, thing though. because you care about it and you want to, but then no one sees it because it's like when they know you're promoting something, mm-hmm. it's just, f- it's flushed away. I've been trying to find a loophole and I'm like, there's no loophole. They I know. know. Um, good it's- old fashioned video star video. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like the- do you remember video star? Maybe I should. Dude, that would be like. I big, love video I, star. Everyone get nostalgic and be like, oh my God, I forgot about video star. I was going to say Noted. like a- Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah's interlude with, with the it girl. Mm-hmm. Like she just made it like a music video thing where people that were it, it's so the trending good. thing you have What's to do the it new one um fuck i don't have an icon yes yes that, she's so good. oh my gosh so we love good. Aaliyah. she did so my reality show and we became friends with her on it and she is like the sweetest most amazing person and she wasn't doing music yet or like wasn't releasing it and then when that song came out we were like holy fucking shit and then it was the biggest thing ever i know she's so i didn't know she made music either and that because she, she was like a fashion icon like, yeah holy shit i know it was so cool so good she's so cool and she's funny and she's so pretty and she's like fucking 19 yeah she's 19 oh, yeah. she was 19 when she did the show maybe she's 20 now but she was 19 yeah holy shit yeah she's a business mogul yeah, Damn. she knows out. what the Seriously. fuck she's doing i'm like jesus christ <laughs> i wish yeah. falling behind how old are you 24 uh, me too wow doesn't it feel especially in la age like <sighs> i'm 30 like dude so old. Old is going on. it's yeah. insane like on my other podcast josh is 22 and I thought he was turning like 24 or something. Yeah. And then like, he was like, it was my birthday. I'm 22. I'm like, what? <laughs> you have a mansion. You're oh 22. Oh my God. I just found out Tate McRae is 20. Shut up. Uh, I literally saw that. I'm like, okay, I have to give up on music. I'm too old. She's oh no, that's a terrible one. I'm not going to do it. Don't you dare. But no, oh my God. don't. <laughs> no. Oh my God. It's just, uh, it's a little disheartening. <sighs> it is. But then it goes back to like, that's us per- like perpetuating the cycle of age is like, yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not. You can do it at any age, but it is a little disheartening when everyone's 20 years old and doing your biggest dreams. Yeah. I mean, Jennifer Coolidge's speech last year during award season, she just, she nailed it. She's like, I was ready to throw in the towel. Like I, I you know, I've, I've been working so hard for my whole life and I, it, to finally get this now at the age that I am, it is, it, it, it just means don't ever give up. Yeah. Viola Davis is my queen in that aspect. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you're just crushing it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you're good at it, you're good at it. Yeah. It doesn't matter what age. But Tate McRae's 20. Wow, that fucking sucks. Crazy. Yeah. I feel She's like I'm so a pop good. star now and I'm never going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you're totally fine. Tate McRae's just...
social media yeah, anymore. Yeah, she's kind of made it like a blueprint. Like, hey, listen, guys, you can do other things. Yeah. She's like a Kardashian. Dude, yeah. just yeah. do whatever. She's just, just cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she's incredible. But. But so are you. Thank you. So are you. You're hyping me and up you know, so much. So are you. Yeah. So are you. You know what? So are you. And so are you. And so <laughs> and, are you and watching. And you watching at home. Incredible. All five of you. Uh-huh. <laughs> and <so> watching. <laughs> you're incredible and you're going to be huge no matter what you do. You're going to make a big kid. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> um, but so what are your like goals for the next, I don't know, upcoming months or years? What, what do you foresee for yourself? We, we like to do that. I want to so put can out an actual in. album. Hell yeah. Because this was just an EP. So I want to do like a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I don't know. I also want to learn to play an instrument because okay. I don't know how to play any instruments, which well, is so confusing. Is instrument. I know, but it would just be. I wish every day cooler. I could sing. It's so cool. Yeah. Can you not? I feel like everyone can. Some no. people can't. Just kidding. I <laughs> cannot. Sure can't. Did you? Okay. When did you know you could sing? When I was little, but I don't know why I was so embarrassed by it. I was the shyest, was most awkward, uncomfortable person <laughs> to exist until I was twenty. Like okay. I was so afraid of being alive. Like <laughs> I don't know. I was so embarrassed, and my mom would be like, "We need to put you in voice lessons," and I'd be like, "No, stop!" Like I'm embarrassed, and I stop singing. singing. And I'd wait for my family to leave and be like, "I gotta do karaoke now," because then everyone's gonna come home later. I'm scared. <laughs> so I would not sing in front of them. I didn't do choir. I wanted to do theater. So thank God I didn't, because I would have been fucking weird. Not that theater people are weird. Um, but I wanted to do all those things so bad. Dude, I, I wish was I did too. So afraid of yeah. everything, so I didn't. Um, and then I moved out of my parents' house and then started posting covers. And I remember one day my dad texted me a link of a YouTube compilation and it said, "Am we singing?" And he's like, "Is this real?" And I was like, <gasps> and I got so embarrassed. So I was oh like, and he was, I was like, yeah. And he's like, what? This is really good. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> so and then I was like sitting there. I'm like, wait, why am I embarrassed? And then yeah, I just stopped, like you're good. Yeah, stop being embarrassed about. Yeah, it. It, well, that's, that's a good secret to keep from your family. Uh, like it could have been way worse. Like you could have found some something crazy online and be like, it was, yeah, it was just a talent. It was a secret talent. Yeah, I know. I'm like, no, like, they probably would have very much enjoyed it. I remember there was like one time I was singing Rihanna in the living room and I thought no one was there. And my dad took a whole video and I just remember turning around and scream crying. And I was like, delete it. <laughs> that's funny. It's so weird. And now it's like your thing and you're pursuing it. Yeah. To yeah. be so scared to Still like, circle. yeah, it's really cool. So an album, do you, when you do your music, do you like want to create like music videos and stuff for it too? Yes, but I have no budget right now. Dude, so yeah. It's I, crazy. I, I, it also is just like, I feel like music videos don't do that well anymore. So it's like, unless it is a really song big does song. well, yeah. then it would come with it. I like did a music video for one of them. But I didn't know that's what we were doing <laughs> because they're like, yes, we're doing like the Spotify canvas things. So I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, they're just gonna be clips. So I wasn't even like lip syncing or anything really. Just yeah. A few parts. Um, and then he sends me a whole music video and I was like, this turned out awesome, but I did not know we were doing that. Maybe so that's the magic. Surprise. Maybe that's the magic. Yeah. I know. The secret sauce. Cause I was like, I guess if I would have knew I would have been nervous or something. Like, yeah. I and it would have been like singing into the camera or something. Yeah, but that's cool. That could be like your thing. Like, uh, just like secret music videos you have no idea about. Yeah. yeah no Which one tell me I'm doing it. Weird, I guess maybe sometimes <laughs> being recorded all, all times. <laughs> it turned out cool though. So that's good. That's huge. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, it, it was so exciting to have you on and I'm so excited for your music. Your EP is amazing. If you haven't listened to Mouthful yet, make sure you listen to it. Emmy is amazing. She's also just like the best on social media. Thank You're you. just like so funny and cool. And it's it's awesome to watch you succeed. Thank you so much. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming on. Do you have anything else you want to like plug before we just send you out the fucking door? Just stream Mouthful. That's all. Yeah. Go listen to it, guys. Stream it. <laughs> stream it now. <laughs> so she can make music videos. Yeah. yeah please. <laughs> Ones that she knows about. <laughs> yeah. Please. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Yeah.